As we're looking outside this morning, things are nice and calm for us. 42 degrees in Sparta starting off in our western spots this morning. 51 in Mount Airy. We've got winds in the 5 to 10 mile per hour range. And as we look towards Greensboro, 48 degrees with winds also 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we head through the day today, things are nice. Maybe not quite as spring like as yesterday, but temperatures will be right around 70 degrees this afternoon. One thing we will notice is that cloud cover. We didn't really have much of that yesterday, but we start off mostly clear this morning. We end up partly cloudy and then mostly cloudy by the evening. As we look towards our western spots, we end up with a couple of sprinkles even as the sun is setting. And then in the overnight hours, the rest of us will see that rain and maybe even hear the rumble of thunder before you wake up on your Thursday morning. 60s for our highs in the high country today. Here's a look at that hour by hour forecast. That cloud cover sticking with us and increasing throughout the day on your Wednesday. 1 a.m. on Thursday, you can see that shower activity is well with us and pretty widespread with occasionally some heavy downpours. So even though it clears up by the time most of us are waking up and heading out the door on Thursday morning, we could have some wet roadways and potentially even some ponding on roadways for our early morning commuters. So make sure that you're keeping that in mind. And of course, while you're sleeping, you may hear the rumble of thunder, but we're not expecting severe weather tonight or tomorrow. Now, as we head towards Friday, there is a chance that we end up with some severe storms. Here's a look at Friday's forecast. We're going through with morning with some rain and then in the afternoon and into the evening. This line of storms moves through with the cold front and that's the one that we're really concerned about here. So here's a look. Radar is nice and dry right now, but as we pull back, we can see the severe storm risk for today does not include us. We've got that light green on over our, over our area for today and tomorrow for those overnight storms, but that just indicates those kind of standard run of the mill thunderstorms. No severe impacts expected for Friday, though that changes. Our entire forecast area almost is under under that slight risk for severe weather, which is a level two out of five. There are still a lot of variables that have to come into play for us to really determine where the strongest impacts will be. But you can see that the eastern portion of our forecast area actually downgrades to a level one. Damaging winds will likely be the highest threat. At this point, we really can't rule out that isolated tornado threat. So this is something that you want to be prepared for. We're headed towards spring where we start to see these severe weather threats, of course, but no need to be alarmed yet. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Thursday and Friday will both be impact days Thursday because of that early morning rain and maybe a couple of scattered showers throughout the day and then Friday because of that severe weather threat.